First you get the animal, of course, slaughter it, and then you skin, okay? And then it's like uh, you put all the animal hide into a uh, so-called uh, byproduct of a milk, yellow mm. milk, we call it. So you let it stay there for a while. Maybe a week it will take to take it uh, into that uh, mixture, solution. After a week you get it out. Then you put that into that machine, so called. Mm. That machine actually is, works like a washing machine, drum. Mm. So the skins inside will be like all over, turning all around, you know, inside that. Terim, that's the name for that. Maybe a week or a little longer it will remain in that machine. Being uh, pulled by a horse. So it is a kind of motion, circling motion. Mm -hmm. The skin's inside and pulled, pulled by a horse. So it is a week or a little longer. But in between, who is it? The room of Tawak, Nig or that four or five other animal heights are put once in one place. Together as a town, we are mixing. Like after a week or a little longer, you'll get uh, four or five cow heights already being treated with that machine, and you, you, you'll be able to take it out. Tell me, Scarlet, did you have a whole? Tell me, Scarlet, you're tossing. And after you pull it out of that terim, you apply yeah, yeah, oil on it. It's a bone oil. You apply the bone oil all over the surface of the skin. And that makes it waterproof, right? Yeah. And you put them back into that terim. Mm -hmm. Now you start circling your horses around that, like pulling it around. I think it's not a good At least three days it will take to treat it like that. Next three days. So while you turn it around, the oil already applied on the surface will actually fit into it and penetrate it so that now the skin is like elastic, mm -hmm. flexible. And this is actually what happens after that when you pull that out of the mm -hmm. And if you want to do, if you want to do this from that skin, you will start cutting it into mm -hmm. long pieces, into strips and long strips. And it's like uh, you don't want to cut it somewhere. That's why you just start from the outer edge of it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have somewhere cut. You want it to be one continuous, one continuous, mm -hmm. uh, how you call mm -hmm. it, long strip, yeah. And it's not that it's cut strip like that. You first do that uh, out of this long strip, maybe nine or 10 ounces mm. of it will be ideal for making gold. Mm. And whatever shorter pieces you would need to make of it, mm. you'll cut it later. Mm. This cowhide, you see this? This cowhide is ideal for making Mongolian traditional mm. boots. Mm. They make boots out of this. So uh, if somebody's seen those Mongolian boots, this is the leather they make, mm -hmm. that boots. But not like the kind he's wearing right now, right? 
Not, this is not the Mongolian boots. Those are Russian, right? Those are Russian mm -hmm. army boots. Mm -hmm. But later, of course, you will take a picture, a photo of that, mm -hmm. how they make it. Yeah. So the, it these are the, the things that people use for herding and migrating. So this would be something that you would braid into a rope um, to, to put on a horse or to catch a horse with, like a lasso. And then this would be a saddlebag that you would put on the side of a horse. And this would be a saddlebag you'd put on the side of an ox. Oh, an ox. And this is just the, what it's laying on, is just the raw material of what you would use to make it out of. And for a frame of reference, this is what a sheepskin typically, the size it is. So a cowhide is obviously a lot bigger. But yeah, a lot bigger. So all these things are used for everyday herding, also working with horses and oxes, and leather and bags and even uh, traditional boots, and little, little even bags for everyday use, mm -hmm. for example to keep their salt or tea, mm -hmm. whatever you can think of. Like, they can put it into any shape. When they put them together like this, they'll basically use same material to sew it so that they get together. If you see, here we have already some hair left. Mm. It is not because, you know, it is not completely processed, but people intentionally leave this so that hair actually makes it even weatherproof. Mm -hmm. Some of these uh, big bags, they use even these bags for transporting their young kids because this is still weatherproof, windproof and also it actually is really warm, warmer than any wooden boxes. Mm -hmm. So you would put some uh, whatever insulation inside and then after you put your little kid inside in order to go over the pass. So this is really uh, not something for show, but it is for everyday use. For real work. Real yeah. work. And he's the man who makes it. We have many people who make this stuff around, but uh, he is especially responsible mm -hmm. for this area. People mm -hmm. always come to him, ask mm -hmm. him to make it for them. Mm -hmm. They either get this ready product buy from him but also they bring their animal hides have it processed and later they make themselves this stuff mm -hmm. also